This is not the figure complex amazing Yamaguchi Gambit. Yes! Why are you doing that? <laughs> What's up everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. This is the channel where we abuse bootleg action figures. Apparently That's right. We yeet them all over the place. <laughs> so yes, this is a fake of the figure complex amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Gambit. And we're gonna open them up, we're gonna see if it's worth the money. I got this for fifteen dollars at AliExpress, and so we're once be again. Gentler we're gonna than be, you were yes, before, yes, right? I punched it and everything. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna be more gentle when we open it up. You know what? The package is supposed to protect it, okay? Supposed to protect it. I don't think they intend on you All right. punching a box. Alright, okay. You know what? When I usually get these figures, usually the packaging is so much worse. And uh, so far, let's see if I can get that face back on. And yes, that was not a problem at all. And the arm is off as usual. Parts oh, are just flying all over the place when it comes to these fakes, these oh. clones, these bootlegs. And my goodness, this figure does not look very good. And you know what? I've heard a lot of things saying you have to really mess around with an amazing Yamaguchi figure to make it to make it look good. But right out of the box, they look awful. You know what? I'm having so much trouble getting this he, arm on. He looks scary. Yeah, he with does look eyes. really scary. I have to say, this that figure like does it. not look that good. But here we go. That's looking at the face right there. Oh. That looks nightmarish. I guess it's good we're doing this just before Halloween. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> that is some nightmare fuel right there. That does not look like a very good, well-painted Gambit face. Ew. But the body actually is just like amazing, uh, an amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech body. The legs look like they work. Um, everything seems like it should be there. When it comes to paint and detail, there isn't much paint defects. There's no loose joints. We're going to do a wiggle test real quick. No, nothing's loose here. I think the only issue I have here, it just comes inherently from most amazing Yamaguchi figures. They just have weird articulation. Um, yeah, see, this is kind of just weird, right? His, uh, his uh, coat is articulated. And you got to really maneuver them or articulate them to get the best out of their, out of their articulation. You know what I mean? So, yeah, this is, this is just, <laughs> he just looks weird. Uh, I think that's my issue here. He does need a figure fix. There is no doubt about it. This face just keeps falling off. And you know what? Even before I punched it, it was, you know, falling out of the box. And I was like, uh oh, this is not going to be a good one. I'm, unfortunately, when it comes to, I, I honestly expected this figure to be much better. All the amazing Yamaguchi clones have been good. Well, mostly the Venom one. The Venom one was really good from the one I got. And the Spider-Man one was pretty good. But yeah, this one, not so much. And Janelle is looking back here, and this is what you get in the back of the box. Your figure looks nothing like that. Anyway, let's go on to, uh, you know what? I'm just, oh my gosh, let's look here. Improper molding, as you can see right here. You can see all kinds of crusty stuff inside there. That is not good. That's probably why this joint will not pop in, um, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just weird joints. You just got to work with these. I mean, it's not a bad looking figure, right, hon? That face is... You just hate that face. Yes, that face is very, very annoying. It's really small. Yeah, it's really small compared to his body. <laughs> not right. It's just not yeah. accurate. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it just looks weird. I don't he know... He looks if... like... He reminds me of the Furby I grew up with that would talk in the middle of the hallway in the middle of the night. It would freak me out. Oh my god. That figure is not coming home with us. Okay, so this one is not coming home with us, but it can go home to you if you go in the description down below and enter our giveaway for 30,000 subscribers. Anyway, let's move on to articulation and scale. <laughs> we have a figure that doesn't want to keep his face on. Come on, Gambit. Come on, mon ami. Let's do this. This guy's standing at six and a half inches, if not a little bit more. We gotta compare him to a Marvel Legends Gambit, which is one of my is favorite his neck action coming figures. Coming up off of his chest right now, it is. It's popping off. Yes, it is popping off. This one's a better figure, by the way, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, and I guess we might as well look at him compared to like an SH Figure Arts. This is the Iron Man Mark Forty Two, which is what we've been using for. This is not weak. Uh, I guess it kind of works. 
I guess. I mean, Gambit is a tall guy. Mm -hmm. And we also have Psylocke from Marvel Legends, which we will be doing the Amazing Yamaguchi Psylocke next. She makes uh, next. it really obvious that his face is small. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, that face is just not proportioned well. Uh, I think that there's something definitely wrong in the molding of his face. And if you look in the box. Oh, it's totally different yeah, on the box. It's totally different on the box, and you're definitely that not toy? getting This is not, yeah, this is not the toy you're getting, <laughs> clearly. This is like nightmare fuel right here. Anyway, let's move on to articulation. We've got some weird articulation here. We have an up and down at the toe, which does not go up and down because that's a that's a bootleg toe joint right there, which is what we've been getting lately. We've got up and down there, clicky joint right there at the ankle. We do get a shin swivel. We get a single joint there at the knee. We get two joints here at the leg, two in the midsection. We got all kinds of joints <laughs> it's just everywhere, just like any... Uh, uh, amazing Yamaguchi figure because we have like three is that three I'm counting for the shoulder to extend his shoulders yeah so that's like one two yeah there's three because there's one in there and then we have one here at the elbow and then we got the ball and ball and peg there at the wrist and then we have the two at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation and you know what sure why don't we look in there you can even articulate his eyes with this tool but you know we're not going to do that. Let's put this face on. Maybe this face works better. I don't like that face even more. I'm trying There's here. There's something wrong with the eyeball. Oh, yeah. That is... Uh... Yeah, let's look at that. Let's move on to accessories. So I'm going to be real with you. I'm just going to leave this 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 <laughs> arm out. Um, this, isn't, this isn't turning out to be very good. Let's just finish. No. We're going to finish this off. <laughs> Uh, we have the kinetic car kinetic cards here, uh, which are got, pretty cool. Yeah, these are really good effects, and I'm gonna tell you another reason why I like this this figure because I could steal the accessories yeah. and put it on my Marvel. Le oh, this staff is That's so favorite. much better than the one that you get with Marvel Legends. Yeah, you buy this one. For oh the yeah, accessories, and look people. at look at how these cards look. These are really cool looking cards. Uh, if I had the other hand for gambit right now i would totally put these cards on you might be able and to these look really the cool yeah so let's see actually no you can't exchange the hands because these hands oh, uh, need different. their yeah they, they're different they need their own peg <laughs> which you do get cool hands well, they mess up the mold on the fingers on these hands anyway so a lot of them are cut like in half at the fingertips so my issue with this figure right now is that i think the main one and i think janelle will agree with me that even though he does come with cool accessories, it's pretty, the body could use some work, but what cannot be fixed is the improper face. Yeah. Yeah, that face is just messed up. It's jacked up. It's it's like they molded it way too small. It looks nothing like that on the box. And I don't have the real thing, so I can't compare. It's like they it just it looks weird. <laughs> it, it just looks really strange. This is the biggest negative of this figure is that that face would be is too small. It's, it's the face, it's the neck that's coming up off of the chest. It's the extended shoulders that are popping out and not well hidden. He kind of yeah. looks like a cyborg. He looks weird. <laughs> so uh, the question of the day is, would I put this in my collection? No, I would not. I would not put this in my collection. No way. I'd buy it for the accessories. Yeah, I'd then. buy it for the accessories, which is kind of what I was hoping. I said, you know what? If this figure sucks, I can put the staff, at least the staff, on this gamut. Because I did not like the staff on the Marvel Legends gamut because it was way too thin. And therefore, he cannot hold it properly. This is the perfect girth, so he can hold it perfectly. Look at that. This thing is not coming off, and that is absolutely amazing. So you can have a better gambit, and if you still have your uh, still, if I still had the hand, which I do somewhere, I would probably shave off this right here, and I can put this card on that hand, where it looks like he's holding a single card, and that looks much better than the one that you get in Marvel Legends. So this is kind of like an accessory pack for the gambit that I do like, and I hate to admit that, but yeah, honestly, I'm not it. If that's what you're getting it for, just for the accessories, yeah, I'd have to say. 15 bucks, sure. Mm -hmm. Accessory pack, why not? Yeah. I mean, little armory guns go for about 20 you bucks. You paid the same amount for, like, a box tortoise set Ex of accessories. Exactly. So. so, there you have it. 
Uh, I don't know how the real one is. Let me know down in the comments down below. And I think that is all that we have for, day, for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking for 100% authentic Ash figures, you can go where? DStartToys.com. That's right. Say it with me, everyone. You can go to www.DStartToys.com. You're a reliable source for awesome action figures. I'll see you guys next time. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.